This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Police in Davie were called to a domestic dispute that turned into a shooting. The incident took place near the Park City West Mobile Home Park. Investigators say a suspect fired shots at an unoccupied vehicle when police arrived. Shots were exchanged between the suspect and officers. That suspect was shot, but we're told that person is expected to be okay. Details of the incident is still unclear. FDLE is investigating. A group of gun violence activists and community leaders paired with local law enforcement to march against the recent spike in gun violence. Among those in the crowd were mothers that have lost their own children to gun violence. Recently in South Florida, more than 20 were injured and three killed in a mass shooting at El Mula Banquet Hall. In Royal Palm Beach, a gunman opened fire on a grandmother and her one-year-old grandson. Florida is taking another step closer towards more environmentally friendly electricity. Florida Power and Light imploded its final coal-fired plant in the village of Indian Town in Martin County. Crews used 171 pounds of explosives to take down a 495-foot chimney stack in a controlled demolition. And this is part of our overall march of clean energy. And we're a big believer that you don't have to be one or the other. You can be clean, you can be reliable, you can be affordable. We've proven that. Our bills are among the lowest in the country. Our emissions profile is among the best in the country. And our reliability is the best in the country. Now, we are not perfect and we are not done. The rest of the plant, including the boiler and ash silo, will be removed later this year. A couple is facing child neglect charges after police say they left a three-year-old inside a hotel room for hours while they left gambling. Investigators say the couple left their hotel room at the Seminole Hard Rock early Tuesday morning. That's when the three-year-old child left the room and locked himself out. Hotel employees saw the child alone and called police. When the couple arrived, they were taken into custody. Both have been released but are ordered no contact with the child while the case is under investigation. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava made another push for more people to get their COVID vaccine shots in order to reach a goal set by the Biden administration to have 70% of U.S. adults with at least one COVID shot by the 4th of July. People are still needing to take the shot. We're at 66, we get to 70 by July 4th, and we have freedom just in time for our Independence Day. Mayor Levine Cava says right now the county is under a 3% positivity rate, which is the lowest it's been in months. Now, CBS4 weather. It's been a stormy week, and this Thursday, we still have the threat for flooding, but this is going to be early in the day, so flood watch remains in effect till noontime. Because the ground is so saturated, any showers that could potentially be heavy out there could lead to flooding. However, the flood threat diminishes, so has the severe threat as well, because some of those storms for Wednesday, they were pretty strong and severe, but today, it looks like they're not going going to be as intense. Now by two o'clock, there still could be the chance for rain over Pompano Beach, mainly Broward, down into Weston and inland areas. So now we're going to start to see that breeze out of the southeast kick in and try to take over the southwesterly flow. On top of that, we're going to have some drier air mass come our way for Friday. And that's really going to help to bring the rain chances down. But for Thursday, there's still a lot of cloud cover moving through the area as we are in that transition zone. Uh, so this trough right here, this basically a stalled boundary over Florida is going to, going to finally break apart and allow for that drier air mass to build in with the Atlantic high. Meantime, you see these rings. It's around the what could be the center of a disturbance, but it's not well defined this morning, but it is something to watch. So hurricane hunters will be out there Thursday afternoon investigating. There is a great potential, high potential that that area will become a tropical depression as early as Thursday night. Here's that dry air on the moisture forecast. It comes in Friday, lasts through Saturday. Then we get a better chance for some shower Sunday. Notice all the deep tropical moisture over the Gulf Coast from Texas out to the Panhandle. Well, that's where we expect to see most of the rain associated with what could be the next tropical depression. How much rain could these states get? Well, between New Orleans to Pensacola or at least Mobile, Alabama, five to seven inches of rainfall is possible. The next next three days. A wider view of the satellite imagery of the tropics, mainly over the Gulf of Mexico. You see some convection bubbling up. That's actually the east side 
of this disturbance and it's slowly pushing northward very slowly so it'll take some time before the rain starts headed into the northern Gulf Coast highs today 89 degrees we don't worry about that depression coming our way whatsoever but uh, we'll worry about the heat because with uh, less rain that's expected as we head into the weekend that means hotter temperatures so Sunday for Father's Day we're expecting a few showers highs in the low 90s also Sunday begins uh, uh, it's the official start of summer. Jen, thank you, and that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.